Hey, uh, welcome back to the channel. So first, do me a favor and subscribe. Let's get to 1000 subscribers. Thank you. So this week, uh, something different. This is my Dremel, a very useful tool. But this seems to have a few issues, a few known issues. One of them being just stops working for uh, no reason. And the second issue is with that button that uh, releases the bits that you're using. So you can change between them. So in this video, I'm going to completely remove that button. The plan was to use a screwdriver inserted in that hole and uh, just unscrew it like that and i've decided to do this because they also have a very shitty uh, warranty policy this also had some sort of a protective uh, cap uh, right there but i've removed that because uh, i think it's useless that cap connected uh, to half of this dremel but uh, i like to use it without that so first of all i'm going to unscrew these two circular things on the sides i really have no idea what these are they are not screws as you'll see uh, there's a spring inside it The only thing you need for this is a, a screwdriver with a Torx end and this is the one I'm using and I think that's about three millimeters in diameter. Next, I'm going to remove these two stickers on the side. For some reason, the designers at the Dremel didn't want to make it clear that this is made out of two pieces so they decided to hide that, which is kind of odd. You can take off these very easily, you can just peel them off and that reveals the two halves. And this only has four screws and uh, look at this, looks like a face, I think this uh, Dremel uh, knows I'm about to look at its guts and it's uh, very scared. <laughs> used something to pry this open as you'll see i'm doing this very carefully because i really wanted to avoid uh, damaging something there you go so these are the insides of the dremel if the camera focuses you'll see there is a metal half circle right here which is in the wrong position that is a part of the button mechanism which i'm going to remove the button is on the other side of that uh, shaft and motor assembly I hope you can see this, but there are some holes there in the shaft, but they are kind of connected with a groove, which shouldn't really be there. That groove was made by that button assembly grinding on it. So right here, I'm carefully disassembling the cable from the other half of the body using the same screwdriver tip. At least they made it easy for this to be disassembled, even I was able to do it. Again, carefully removing this from the other half of the body. Uh, this is the motor assembly with that uh, circuit board with the switch. This comes off very easily. You can also blow off the dust in it. And look at this little thing. This is very worn out and this is the reason why the button stopped working. Again, I'm completely removing this, and as you can see, there's a hole right into the body. So I wanted to assemble this, but I really wanted to see if I can unscrew with some pliers, but I couldn't find my second plier. So I decided to assemble this back and use a screwdriver or a drill bit to unscrew that front part. What's important here is for this whole assembly to move freely without any noise or resistance. And I had to move that around a bit for it to sit properly. And I was really happy with the result. Then I struggled to add these two useless plastic pieces, which are a part of that uh, idiotic design. Then I tried to unscrew that tip 
using a drill bit but it didn't work because of that groove that formed between those holes i showed you earlier so i've decided to disassemble this completely the part on the left is the circuit board with the switch the part on the right it's the electric motor made out of two parts so i've uh, struggled to attach this back it has four pins that connect to that uh, circuit board uh, switch assembly This is the part of the assembly, the motor with that shaft. So with my left hand, I held on that. And with the right hand, I basically unscrewed that uh, bit. It's time to put that part back in. Reattach that rubber circle on that uh, ball bearing. And again, I had to really make sure that shaft moves with no noise or resistance. Perfect. I've assembled this back together. That's kind of it. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.